Hi guys, Professor Benson here. I have got a, I'm um, going to go over the spreadsheet exercise with you. I call it a quiz only because that is what Canvas is going to call it because you're going to actually enter in your numbers. I'm going to slide this over here a little bit so you can, uh, we can just see the spreadsheet part of it. You're going to download this spreadsheet and I'll show you that in just one second. Um, I don't like Canvas's uh, text editor here, but um, if you would rather, I've also put the same instructions here as a Word document, if that's easier to say print out and have as you go through it. But let's go through the spreadsheet exercise. Um, so right here, I actually have taken some data here from, um, you can see where I downloaded it from, but this is sales data broken out by region and by, or by geography and then by product. And I've turned that into some detailed data for you so that you can uh, calculate and then summarize. Your numbers will not exactly match to this because I had to do some rounding and then I omitted um, sales of iTunes, of AirPods, Apple TV, Apple Watch, and so on. So yours is going to look like, we'll go ahead and slide over here. This is the detailed data, but we'll start over here with product prices. The first step I say is you're going to name this range. So here we've got uh, the 2017 data. I'll go ahead and we'll slide this up. So you'll want, the first thing you'll want to do is just go ahead up here and then name this price 2017, right? And so on. Do the same thing down here for uh, 2018. Over here, what you're going to do is you're now going to use a VLOOKUP to look up the prices for each of these items. So we're going to look up price 2017, comma. We're going to bring over the second thing, and we're going to do FALSE. Okay. Now, remember, you're only going to bring this down for the 2017 data you need to bring down the 2018 prices for the 2018 data. And I've already done revenue is just, of course, is just, of course, price times the, the number, the quantity sold, which is the unit sales here. I've already or done that for you, entered that formula. So you're going to do that so you have for the 2017 and 2018. Um, okay. Then once you have that, you're going to come over here, please enter your name, uh, change this to your name, and then you're going to use some, actually, so I'll go over here and re-enter that data. So right here, you're going to use a sum if, right, and in this case, you're actually going to, um, well, sorry, your next step is actually to name, so this will be year, all the way down, geography, product, unit sales, price, and revenue. You're going to name each of these columns, and that way then you can just sum it up, and I'll show you a um, solution. Um, this one, the numbers will be different because I have changed the data, so your totals will be different, but you're just going to sum if you want the year to match uh, 2017, and then you're summing up the revenue. Okay, down here, you're doing a sum ifs, and you're doing revenue. That's, this is the column that you're adding up, and then it's going to say if the year is 2017 and the geography is Americas. Okay, and so on. I've already had this add up for you. Um, then same thing down here. Here you're going to do if the product is equal to the iPhone and the year is 2017. Same thing for 2018. Note down here, this this is unit sales, so you're actually, this is the number of iPhones sold. Um, this number, this 233467, these numbers are in thousands, so this means that um, they sold 233 million, uh, 233.5 million iPhones in 2017. Again, this is not the correct number because I've modified some of these uh, numbers. Um, so you will get a different answer than this, okay? And then finally, um, and then down here, you're actually going to do it by, right? You've got, is the, this is sales by Americas for the iPhone in 2017. Same thing, sales for, uh, and for 2018, okay? So you just fill those in, and then the quiz question just asked you to enter this number right here. This is also in thousands, so that means they sold $210 billion. 
um, their actual revenue for 2018 is actually this $265 billion, but that's because I'm not including these services or other products includes things like Apple TV and AirPods and Beats and so on. Uh, Apple Watch as well. But the number you will enter is this number right here, the 210-253-649. That is the number you will enter in for your first question, whatever number you get there. And again, yours will be a little bit different. Um, same thing, I think the next one I ask you for the, what was Apple's sales, total sales revenue in the Americas, so this is North and South America in um, 2018, you'll enter this number. Um, if Canvas lets you paste it in, great. It didn't let me, I actually had to type in the numbers. And then the last question asks you to upload this file. Remember to leave um, these formulas, like in this case, it's the sum ifs formula. Just remember to leave the formulas in, and the same thing here. Leave this v, uh, leave this v lookup formula in. Oh, that's because I've changed it here. In yours, remember to leave this v lookup formula in so that I can double check to make sure you've done it correctly. Uh, it also helps me if I need to figure out what error you have made. All right. Well, good luck. Hopefully, this won't take you too long, and I will see you. Uh, I will see you next week.